what you know about we We gon' pull this music underground and back up to the streets No gimmicks, if we in it, we gon' give you what you need Nothing more, nothing less, we bout to throw down Yeah, it's bout to go down What's up guys, this is Soul Cyber 24 Here to do my E.T. The Extraterrestrial Let's Play It's uh, released on the Atari 2600 in 1982 And is arguably the worst game ever created Now let's get into it and try to find out why Alright, coming down on a ship You know, this is basic, this is standard graphics for the Atari You know, I, I do kind of have an idea of what I'm supposed to do in this game So... I have a bit of an advantage. Uh, you basically go around, walk around these screens. I'm looking for a question mark. I'm looking for a question mark to pop up on the top. When I get the question mark, I'm good. I'm good. All right, let me see. Let me see. Come on now. Got to find a question mark. It's got to be one. Okay. And those that that little dot that I just picked up, those are Reese's pieces because you know in the movie, you know. And this this asshole right here will take anything I pick up. And I fell in a hole. Okay, fantastic. Alright, so anyway, check this out. So the dude's chasing me, and I'm about to fall in this hole again. Okay, cool. Oh, see? Question mark. Oh, but guess what? There's nothing on this stage. So that's great. So if you don't see... Usually if you see a question mark... Then uh, it means that there's something hidden on the stage. And when you do that special move that I do when I hit the button... It's supposed to reveal which hole... The item that you're looking for is in. The piece of the telephone. It's three pieces. The problem with that is... Sometimes it doesn't show up. It's hard as hell to find these question marks sometimes. You got these doctors constantly chasing after you. And if they grab you, they take you to jail. Or put you in the thing. There's a question mark. There we go. Okay, so... The doctors are chasing you, they'll put you in jail. Then you got these damn FBI agents that are chasing you, and they take the pieces of your phone. And then you got these stupid ass holes where if any part of your body touches one of these holes, you're falling inside. Now, I, I did that deliberately just so I could make sure there was nothing inside of this hole. But most of the time, you will fall in these completely by accident because they're almost freaking impossible. See? Freaking impossible to avoid. Just the way the joystick is and the sensitivity of the movement. It's like you're bound. If you move fast and you use your little speed boost that you have, you're going to fall inside of a hole. Now, see, I had a piece that I found in another hole, but that FBI agent came and touched me and he took it. And this, I wouldn't really care about that. But this is the problem with this game. You see that number that just keeps getting smaller? Every time I move... That number falls off, or comes off, or moves. It, it it reduces the number at the bottom of the screen. Now, when that number runs out, I'm dead. Yeah, ET's dead. No more ET, right? Okay, so this is the problem. This dude's gonna keep taking my parts. So I'm gonna keep falling in this damn hole, and every time I move, it's taking time off of my life. This game is the most unfair piece of crap that I've ever played. It's like you can't do anything. It's everything, every action that you take hurts you. If you move, you're hurting yourself. If you try to evade somebody so that they don't grab you. Oh, nice. That was Now, that was lucky. I just got all the pieces of the phone. So now I need to find the hole. Oh, here we go. Like I said, if any part touches the damn hole, you're going to get sucked in the damn hole. Oh, there we go again. See, this is the type of shit that I'm talking about. Now I have the, now the timer keeps running out. I have enough Reese's Pieces. I have all the parts to the phone, but wait a minute. I can't go anywhere yet. I have to find the one hole in this damn game that has a flower in it. You hear me? I had to find the one hole that has a flower in it. And this guy's going to come and try to take the pieces of my phone. Oh, and I fall into another hole. Couldn't have been the hole I needed it to be. No, that would have been nice. Oh, and I accidentally fall in that hole. I didn't even see where I was touching that one. See, this this shit, this is some bullshit right here. But As you can see, I'm about to die. 
Ow! Oh my god. And I actually found the hole that I needed. So now we're going to put this flower up. And it didn't turn into anything. Okay, well I grabbed it. Cool. Alright, let's go. So I grabbed the flower. Now we got to go to the woods. Oh, you son of a... Okay, so I thought I had all the parts of the telephone. Apparently not. So now I think we got to go to the woods. And then... Don't touch the hole. And then we got to find the landing pad. Oh, are you kidding me? Oh my god. See, look at this. Look at it. I'm running out. I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. Wow. And here comes Elliot. You all know Elliot. Fun loving Elliot. At least I got to keep the pieces of my phone. So check this out. You get like three li- Oh, and here he just took a piece of my phone. Give me it back. And guess what? Can't do anything to get it back. Can't do anything to get your phone pieces back. So you just keep falling down these stupid ass holes. Wasting more of your time and he's back. Oh no, no. I, you gave me the other piece, but I'm trying to get some more pieces of your phone. And then you just keep accidentally falling in these holes and your time just keeps sinking away. This has got to be the most stupid ass shit that I've ever seen in my life. I guarantee there are multiple people who have committed suicide playing this game. Like, really? I've never, this game has given me a headache just accidentally falling through these holes. And you got this asshole chasing me around trying to get my, my phone parts that are basically almost impossible to get before I die. Nothing popping up on the screens. And then I know somebody's coming right now to try to grab, there he is, trying to grab the rest of them. Trying to find the landing pad in the woods. Couldn't find it. Dude, this game is horrible. And the problem with this game is not that it's just a really bad game. It's not that it's just a really bad game. It's so unfair. If they would have took, if you would have taken a couple of things out of this game, get rid of the guy chasing you that takes your phone pieces. First of all, get rid of this guy right here. Get rid of that guy. And then, you know, make it to where. See, you just took it. Oh my god. Ugh! So now it's pointless. I'm gonna die. So let me just go ahead and run around and die. Because it's impossible. Impossible for me to succeed at this game right now. I have to find two more phone pieces while avoiding this asshole chasing after me, trying to take what little pieces I have left. Running out of time. Like, I'm about to, I couldn't even make it out of home. I'm about to die. But I can still move. Elliot, come save me, please. Oh, well, that's game over. See? And this is what people... You pay money like you would pay money to get this game back in the day. I don't know how much a Nintendo cartridge cost. It had to be at least $40. And then you would put yourself through this. And you come down. You see the landing pad at the top? That's what I was looking for. I was looking for that landing pad. Could I find it? No. Nope. Let's go to the right this time. And I immediately fell in a hole I couldn't see. Which is stupid. But luckily, one of the parts of the phone was in the hole. Worked out. But, here comes this asshole. Oh, I see you got a phone part. Come on over here. Let me take a look at that. Come on, give it up. Give it up. He's, he's like in a trench coat, man. He kind of looks like a pervert, you know. Just keeps following me. It's like, leave me alone, man. Oh, good, good. I found a part. So you got to stay away from that guy. That's not that's not too bad. You know what I mean? But it just seems like there's too many damn holes. Like, I almost ran into that one on accident, man. You got to get Reese's Pieces. Got to get holes. Call for Elliot. What's that mean? What, what does that signal mean? Oh, here comes this asshole again. Oh, well, let's fall in the hole for safety. Oh, and you're coming from the other side. Nice. That's the longest I've ever moved around the screen without... Oh, never mind. Never mind. I was going to say that's the longest I've ever moved around the screen without falling in the damn hole. And there's nothing on the screen, so that's awesome. 
And this, oh my god, this guy right here pisses me off, man. Pisses me off. And you know what? Watch him. He just runs right over the holes. No problem for him. The nimble FBI agent just runs right over the holes. He's been doing cardio. Been doing a uh, freaking CrossFit, you know. He's in shape. He could just he could just leap over the holes apparently. And here comes Elliot's ass. You gonna help me, Elliot? It's one nice. Okay, so we got a part. Final part to the phone. And we actually we're not doing that bad right now. We're not doing that bad. Okay, so let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Now I just gotta find the flower. Now I gotta fall, deliberately fall in these stupid ass holes until I find the flower. And deliberately falling in the holes, you know, that's cool. I don't mind that. We could deliberately fall in holes all day. It's a very easy thing to do. Now, I accidentally fall in the holes like I did just there, trying to get out of the damn hole. Now, that's a different story, and then this dude's going to grab me and take me to, to jail or whatever. Wasting my time. Just wasting my time. He's glitching in the edge of the screen. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, and then here. He, did you see that dude just appear in there? And he takes apart. He took one of my pieces of my phone. He just appeared in that building and took a part of my phone. And now I accidentally fell. This is what sucks about this game. Just when you're doing well, it all it takes is for one thing to mess up. And it will just jack this entire game up for you. This game... I gotta be honest, this game has potential. It's, I mean, you gotta think. This was an Atari game. A lot of people had seen the movie. They were, you know, they were excited. E.T., you know what I mean? And you get to play him. It kind of looks like E.T. I mean, back in the day, we, we played... There were some games with some pretty, pretty shitty graphics, so... It's got the music at the beginning. I mean, seriously, what more can you ask for? But the game mechanics, it's so unfair. It's like they... It's so unfair, man. They should have at least made it to where these guys cannot walk through these holes. And this guy drags you over here, and it's just a pain in the ass. And now, and that guy should not be able to appear just in random areas in the in the fucking screen. There needs to be some type of a warning indicator or something. And the controls need to not be so freaking like they're too sensitive. You kidding me right now? Look how fast this dude is. He's faster when he goes diagonally. And he took a piece and I fell in the hole. This game is a piece of... Oh, God. Thank God for modern gaming. Thank God. Thank God for the Nintendo Entertainment System. And I can't even say that. I can't even say that because... There are plenty of games on the Atari that were really good. Um, let me see. Missile Command. That's a classic game, man. It's a really good game. Missile Command. Defender. Actually, I didn't even play Defender on the Atari. I don't think I played Defender on the uh, freaking uh, Nintendo. I think. But uh, like uh, Pitfall. This shit is. This shit is. It's annoying as hell, man. This is insane. Oh, and then I get grabbed. Oh my god! Oh, nice. Hey, let me get... Oh, man, I'm dead. So, yeah, I, I've had enough, man. I, <coughs> I really can't play this anymore. This shit is just... I mean, this is... I, I mean, if I... if To continue to play this game, I would have to be a masochist. Like, really, this is... This is some serious... Shitty game. Gaming right here. Is it the worst game of all time that I've ever played in my life? It might not be. I gotta be honest. It's pretty bad. But the fact that they got the music in there. You know. And they got people chasing you. It's kind of relevant to the movie. You gotta find phones. as Reese's Pieces. When you die, you even turn white. Like, you know, E.T. was all pale when he was in the movie and stuff. Elliot comes to save you. You know. I like that stuff, but... The mechanics in this game, man. Oh, my God. Like this. When I'm, like that. Right there. How I'm just accidentally falling in this hole repeatedly. This is such garbage, man. 
And then now he just disappeared. To reappear at another time, another area. And this dude, Speedy, Speedy Mc, I, I can't get, I can't even get it back. Can't even get it back. It's pointless. This is a pointless game. This is why this game sucks. And this is why I cannot continue to play this garbage. This game is pointless. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm just going to keep moving right here. I'm going to die in this hole. It looks like a nice place to die. Looking around. Nobody here to bother me. Yeah, I'm just going to die right here. Hold on. Let me count. Let me get the timer down. Because I'd rather die here than die outside on the ground in front of those fucking assholes. Excuse my language. Oh, what? Oh, whatever. Whatever. You know what, man? Oh, nice. You mean a piece is in here? Oh, nice. I have hope. I might be able to go. Oh, wait a minute. There's a guy waiting for me. Seriously. Oh. Teleport on him. Oh, wait. I know where you went. Give me back them phone pieces. Give them back. This dude right here is persistent, man. This... <laughs> It's, it's just a whole bunch of garbage, man. It makes this game... <laughs> this game is really bad. It really is. Oh, Lord Jesus. Thank God. E.T. can rest in peace. Just let that man die. Let this game go. Wow. Okay. Well, uh, that was my let's play. Because I'm not playing this anymore. It's completely pointless. This is my let's play of E.T., the extraterrestrial, the Atari 2600, and uh, I will never, this is this is the last time that I play a game that's this bad. Okay, I'm never saying never. I might do it again, but it was pretty bad. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys uh, thought it was entertaining, because it definitely wasn't entertaining for me, but uh, you gotta do what you gotta do, so... I'll holler at you guys next time. Soul Cyber 24 and Most Lamer Gamers. Make sure you check out the channel. Subscribe. I'll see you guys later.